Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your teacher today, Chris Palma. So this lesson we're going to discuss how are we change numbers to scientific notations. Before that, let's have first the review what is scientific notation. So the form of that is we have a times 10 to the power of n, where the value of a should not be equal to 10, but not less than 1 which means na yung kanyang values dapat ay nasa 1 lang up to 9.9 .9. and we have 10 here yung 10 po dito ay constant po yan then ang power niya is an integer it can be a positive integer or a negative integer so now let's go to number 1 the question is, how are we going to convert that into scientific notation form? Okay, so let's start here from the decimal. And our movement is from left to right. Okay, let's move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We will end here after 7. Kasi the value of A is equal to 7 times 10 to the power of yung kanyang integer is based sa kanyang movement how many movements do we have here so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so therefore the power is negative 6 ok for number 2 ok so the movement is still coming from left to right so let's start here from the decimal Okay, let's move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we will end here between 5 and 0. So that the value of A will become 5.06. Hindi siya pwede na mag-end tayo between 0 and 6. Because if the point is here, the value of A is equal to 50.6 which is not allowed. Because as what I have said, that the value of A should be more than 1 but less than 10 okay so the value of a now is 5.06 times 10 then the movement is how many units it's down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the power is negative 9 okay for number 3 so number 3 is a large number so our movement here is coming from right to left. Okay, so we'll start here. Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We will end here in between 9 and 0 so that the value of A is equal to 9. It's, it's because when we end here after 9, so that is 0.9. So... Ano siya? Mababa siya sa 1. That's why the point should be between 9 and 0. So that the value of A is equal to 9 times 10. Then the power is will be based from the movement. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So positive 7. Okay, for number 4. Okay, so this is also a large number. It's because it's more than 1. So we will move from right to left. So we'll start here. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the value of A is equal to 7.03 times 10 e to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. The power of 4. Okay, now let's go back to number 1 and number 2. So why is that the powers here are negative integers? Okay, first reason for that is the problems in number 1 and number 2 are small numbers which means less than 1 yung kanilang mga values. The second reason for that is we will move from okay, we will move from left to right. Okay, as you can see, we moved from the decimal going to the right and number three reason for that is the power 
is equal to negative integer. As you can see, for number 1 and number 2, we have negative integers. While in number 3 and number 4, the first reason is the numbers are large numbers, which means they are more than 1. Okay, you know, first reason. The second reason is the movement is coming from right to left. So, right to left. And number three, the powers are positive integers. As you can see in number three and number four, the powers are positive integers. So, those are the techniques on how we're going to convert numbers to scientific notations. So, this time, let's go now to our practice test. So, the instruction here is, express each numbers to scientific notation so i prepared here four problems in the board so if you have your ball pen or notebook right now you can answer in your notebook then post the video for a while and after you answer the problems you can play the video again and check your answers okay let's start with number one so how can we convert that into scientific notation okay so the answer for that is Okay, 8.02 times 10 to the power of okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, positive 5. Okay, for number 2, we have the answer is 9.09 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. So, negative 4. Okay, for number 3. So, the answer for that is 5.73 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, positive 6. And for number 4, we have 3.2 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 7. Okay, so that's how we're going to answer the problems. You can just count the movements. I didn't show the movements towards left. So what I did was I counted the movement to make it simple okay so these are the answers so if you have questions for this video you can ask me through my email and if you like this video just click like button and click subscribe for more updates thank you so much and god bless